Ave Abrams of 3rd Avenue Bartico was shot in the hand Sunday morning while scuffling with her ex-lover, former Guyana Defense Force officer Desmond Hamer, who tried to shoot her to the head after running up to her as she sat in her vehicle. From a hospital bed on Monday, she recounted the ordeal. He said, don't move, um, he pined the gun at me. Um, when he pined the gun at me, I was sitting in the car, so I raised my, both of my hands up in the air, like the block, and the fire. So it hit me in the hands, and I started to squeal and holler, and then people come, start coming, and he run away. From all indications, the man was not sure which part of the body he shot the woman, so thinking that she was dead, he turned himself over to the police before residents could have gotten to him. When they tried to bring me to the hospital with the car, we realized that the car wheel was flat. They keep punctured. It. it was flat, so we're going to come with the tax the car. So I had to walk and come to the hospital with uh, the workers, and we never went wrong bring me to the hospital. The incident took place at the Bartica waterfront where the woman operates a restaurant. Before that, the man had visited her home. Being aware of her movements, he did not expect to see her home, but when he attempted to sneak into the home, he encountered her son. The young man told relatives he did not inform his mother that the man was in the community as he thought they still communicate due to their nine-year-old daughter. Persons, however, said that the man arrived in the community with the last boat to Bartica and was seen moving suspiciously prior to the incident. Ave was asked what she felt led to the rage. He used to call on my phone and ask me for me to make back up and I tell him that oh, well, I don't want to make up back, that um, he move on with his life and I move on with my life and I don't want to be back with him. So he keep on calling and he used to stop at a hotel right here to my business place and uh, you know I don't know if he's just watching to see my movement to see for the, to do this act if he was just doing that and he used to come to the business place and buy food and everything but I never used to really get too much of talking and everything with him because I just want to keep him off. She was then asked about the decision of the two to split and she had this to say. We had an incident and he threatened me and uh, we had a problem and he choked me it was last year. Before we separate, he choked me so I said I don't want to, to live with nobody that I, I got to be afraid of. So I make up my mind and we separate. How many other times before that or before the choking did he ever threaten you? One time we had an argument and he said that oh, um, he will kill me. The businesswoman was asked to use her experience to enlighten women about what they should do in cases of abusive relationships. Don't um, take it as just a trap because that is what I did. I take it for months and as a trap, just a trap. And I'm saying, I was saying to myself that no, he wouldn't do that. He will never do that. that he, know better. He have a, he's a well-educated man, so he wouldn't have do that. And look what it turned out. So don't take it for granted when somebody say that, oh, they're going to kill you, or if they knock you for the first time, just take it as serious. Because in my whole life, I would have never believed that he would have taken out his gun and shoot me. You understand? I would never believe, if I did only believe that, I wouldn't even be living with him. But I take the threat as just a threat. I didn't take it serious. And that was a big mistake. One of the biggest mistakes I make in my life. But taking it as just a threat. Or taking it for granted. Ave said she saw her life flashed in front of her and it was at that point that several realities hit home including the fact that her children needs her. I just see like that in front of me. I didn't know what part of my body to the knock. And I'm not familiar with gunshot wound, but it knocked my hand and it not so serious, thank God. God was on my side. It could have been worse. What a 
what would what would my children do? I have a nine year old and a fifteen year old. I have three children. But my big son, he already big, but losing a mother at any age is terrible. Most of that fifteen and nine. My daughter is still small. I want to be around for them, even if it's just from a distance, but they got a mother to call when they have any problem and so I study my children a lot. I always work hard for my children. Two of the man's relatives have since expressed disappointment in his actions and apologized to the woman. Abrams is said to be a personal friend of Minister Simone Booms and on Monday, the minister also paid a visit to her at the Bartico Hospital. For the Big Smith Crime Watch, Leroy Smith reporting. Are you planning a trip for business or leisure and looking for the most direct and economic offers? But you confuse? You simply need to contact the travel professionals at Munich War Travel Service. 45 Water Street, Churchtown. Their well-trained travel advisors with years of experience will assist you in booking your flights, accessing all airlines, hotels, car rentals at the most competitive prices to match your budget. The Munich War Travel Service, 45 Water Street, Churchtown. 592-227-6992 or 225-2947.